Jade Melbourne, the day after the huge win. How are you feeling? I, I don't even know how I'm feeling still. All I know is that it's a good feeling. Um, I don't know, it's just so good for the group to get some reward for um, like, you know, all the adversity we've faced this year, all the hard work. No one's turned on each other. We've continued to rock up. So yeah, last night was a very cool feeling. Yeah, we were talking, uh, Michelle and I were talking last night about how you kind of came into the Capitals at almost like a golden era. Like even though you weren't there for any of the championships, but such a strong team and such a great vibe. And so you kind of came in and, and were almost nursed into this nice environment. And then this year it's just been, okay, Jade, yeah, you're so, in charge, mate. Yeah, so it's been, it's been very different. Um, like this was the first year I started consistently and all that. And you're right, like I came into an environment where Kelsey was here, Tolo was here. So like I was learning from the ultimate professionals day in, day out. I was nurtured, I was looked after, um, and really all I had to do was look after myself. So this year has been a real change of role for me. Um, I've all of a sudden gone into the leadership group at the ripe, ripe age of 20. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, had to really take charge of the point guard position too. So um, yeah, it's, it's been a lot for me, um, but I wouldn't have it any other way under the guidance of Vili. Um, you know, probably my arguably my favorite coach I've ever played under. So um, yeah, to have that, it's been great. Um, but yeah, the support that I've had around me, uh, this team is unbelievable, the high character, great teammates, and everyone wants to do everything for one another. So um, yeah, it's been easy for me to kind of um, slide into that role. Um, I've try tried to grab the opportunity with both hands, um, but yeah, absolutely loved it. And I love my team. How difficult has it been to be in an environment where no matter what you're kind of doing, it's been a real uphill struggle to get that, that W? Yeah, I think I have actually been in teams where I've been on like, lost my first 10 games, lost in my first 11 games. Um, when I was at the COE my first year, we actually went on an 11 game losing streak to start off our NBL one, um, NBL one season. So, I mean, I've been in this position before um, and it, it's like, there's nothing to lie about. It's tough. Um, but the coolest thing is I've always been a part of really cool groups. So um, yeah, I've just tried to stay upbeat and positive. That's in my nature. Um, and yeah, kind of we've had to fight for everything. So I've kind of been in that experience before um, and yeah, kind of know what to do. Um, but yeah, but it hasn't hasn't been easy. But uh, I mean, I've said it so many times, the group that we have this year is, is there's something special about it. You know, anyone would turn on each other after, you know, eight losses, nine losses. Um, but this group's different. Every day we continue to come in, work hard, work for one another. There's no dropping heads. Um, yes, yeah, sure, someone might make a mistake and get upset about it, but the next person's there to pick them up. Everyone's stepped up when they've had to. Um, so yeah, it has been a challenging year, but it's, uh, it's been super rewarding. So to get the job done last night was super special. Yeah, and in front of a home crowd too, which was very cool. Yeah, I think there was, what, 1,100 people there on yeah. a Wednesday night at 5.30, yeah. you know, in the middle of January. Yep. So just a, a random Wednesday night, um, and that's when we got the job done. So um, I've said it so many times, They're, they are our sixth man. They ride the highs, the lows. They continually show up. Um, I'm a Melbourne supporter, and when we weren't winning games, I wasn't going to the MCG to watch the Ds. So um, the loyal fans that we have at Canberra is unbelievable. And um, yeah, we, we thank them for everything they do. And um, yeah, we hope they continue to rock up. I thought that a bit about you during during the, the 12 game loss thing. I thought, Jade would be used to this because she's a Melbourne <laughs> <laughs> All those, those barren years for the demons. And um, you know, and then you come out the other end and, and, uh, and win it. But um, <laughs> did you sort of feel sometimes, oh man, I feel feel just like Jonesy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real, sometimes. But um, I mean, Jonesy's had it over a period, uh, a period of years, but I know yeah. we're rebuilding this year. And um, yeah, this will be the last time we're going on a 12 game losing streak. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just want to go backwards a little bit to the beginning of the season. Like we, we knew it was a new coach, a, a very new group, five starters from last year, all gone. Um, where were you feel at that, that time when everyone was healthy and mm -hmm. was looking good? Yeah. Where were you guys feeling the team was at? Were you thinking that, uh, you know, you're going to get a bunch of wins, you might push for top four, you might, um, you know, I guess talk us through a bit about that expectation that was there at the beginning of the season? Yeah, I think the expectation of the, uh, the start of the season, it was always uncertain for us. I think we didn't have, we don't have any of the big names really in the league on our team. Um, and the team that we brought in, you know, people have flown under the radar a little bit. People are like, we brought in resilient people. We brought in really good athletes and stuff. So we really didn't know what it was going to be like, but um, going through season, 
pre-season we liked how like all the pieces were like fitting to the puzzle so it looked really promising um and yeah it was really cool like the high character was the main thing you know any anyone was willing to do anything for one another so um we didn't know we didn't know there was no lie about us not having heaps of experience in the league um and we were young so yeah it was gonna be who, who knows what we can do but when the season started you know we didn't have the best start you know we lost Gem really early. Mm -hmm. um, I went off with a foot injury for a couple of weeks and then Dakia left. So it's been a crazy. So the resilience of this group is phenomenal for like such a young group. There's only been one player or two players that have played all 12 games. Yeah. So 13 games now. So yeah. that's crazy. There's no continuity in this group. And, and that can take a toll on a young team for sure. Like I know I'm young and it's taken a toll on me at times as well. But um, yeah, the can continue to get up, um, face adversity, whatever hurdles have been thrown at us. You know, we've, we've worn yellow uniforms this year. We've really <laughs> done it all. But um, yeah, that's the fight um, and the grit and the toughness that everyone has in this group. So last night, you're thinking, we got Bendigo again. Last time we played them at home, they toweled us up a bit that first game of the yeah. season. And how early before the game did you know you weren't going to have Brit, you weren't going to have Bunce? and then you weren't gonna have uh, Schwaggy as well. Yeah, so we knew on Tuesday that we weren't gonna have Brit, I mean, we weren't gonna have Schwaggy or Bunce. Yep. And then I didn't actually know until shoot around, uh, which was an hour before the game, uh, that Brit wasn't playing. So yeah. it all kind of happened really quickly, but um, yeah, everyone was just willing to step up. Um, you know, Chloe comes in and plays 16 minutes and mm. she, never at the start of the year did she think she was probably gonna suit up even. So. Yeah. Just, yeah, it was just crazy. Like we rocked up, Nicole Munger's our oldest player at 25 years old. Our average age for the game was 22. So <laughs> like I looked at, I, at one stage I was looking at our end and I was like, we're just a bunch of kids rocking up. And then there's like Kelsey, Kelly, Afro, um, Maylie all warming up down that end. I was like, this is awesome. And then, but the cool thing was like, um, you know, there wasn't heaps of expectation on us to win that game. There was, we had nothing to lose. So the way everyone just pl uh, went in, played fearlessly um, with hardly any experience. That I think I was the most experienced or Pizzy was the most experienced person on the floor. And we played what, 50 games, games or something was, in yeah, the WNBL. Yeah. So um, that was just wild. So just to uh, step up to that challenge, um, nobody backed down from a fight. Everyone was tough. Um, it was just, unreal to be a part of um, every girl every girl when the, um, their t their name was called or their time was up um, you know it was their time to shine they did it um, I thought Sweeney was awesome Ray was awesome in the fourth quarter yeah he's played an awesome game on their big so it was yeah. just m different moments from everyone um, and everyone stepped up and I couldn't be couldn't have been more proud of the effort from everyone it was just awesome and when that final siren went like <laughs> Oh, I hadn't felt that feeling in a regular season game ever. I was like, this was awesome. The crowd was roaring. Um, we all got around each other and it was just, it was seriously was one of the most special games I've ever been a part of. We were joking off the side that you guys were all walking around like you're about a foot taller because all the pressure was off and you were just like, yes. Yeah. For real though, that's what it felt like. Um, yeah, because we've all, we've all been through it, you know. Um, each game we built, we were building, we were building, um, we got closer, we'd have those two minute lapses, it had, gone, it had gone from we were terrible in the fourth quarter to now we were terrible in five minute patches, we were no good in a two minute patch, no good in a one minute patch and to go out on a Wednesday night against a team like Bendigo who were going to be in the finals mm. and you know, go into the fourth quarter, get a lead and then hold the lead and then just you know, protect the ball go to the free throw line, play solid defense. Um, it, it was just seriously so cool. And timeouts were just like, oh, it's not gonna happen. And I just had this feeling that we were gonna win and you know, when the final siren went, it was just unbelievable. They've got it. They have it, how exciting for this ball club. It's one of the upsets of the season as the Caps break through to end their 12 game losing streak. And this Canberra crowd erupts. The Capitals hand Bendigo their third straight loss. Kristen Veal celebrates her first win as a WNBL head coach.